Good morning and a good afternoon and a good evening. Hello, Face Yogis. How are you? Hope you're having a wonderful Friday morning or afternoon and evening. And then thank you so much for joining this live today. And I'm very excited to be here. Hello, Rosa. How are you? Hi, Salha. Hello. Thank you. So, as you know, I live in the United States and Halloween is just around the corner and tomorrow. So I just wanted to know what do you have any, you know, do you have any plan for Halloween? And I know this pandemic really limits us in some ways, but I just wanted to put a costume, my favorite costume, tiger outfit. My daughter loves it and she always asks me if I can wear this Halloween costume. But let me know what you have any plan for Halloween if you do a Halloween. And if not, well, why not have some fun? You know, have something fun. But anyway, I like to know your plan. And then my plan is um, I'm not a you know sweet person. I don't like to have a candies. And I told my daughter Nina when she goes to a trick or treat, we just do around the neighborhood. And then she can probably have two candies. And then you know the rest we're gonna save it and then she can have a special occasion. So that's my plan. But it might be difficult because she knows Halloween can be a candy and a candy and Halloween, the connection is already there in the head. So I like to know what your plan. Hi Nara, hello, 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 hello Ari, and hello Camellia. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we have an exciting live planned for you today. And then um, you send in your mouth and cheek area questions. And today I'm going to answer all the mouth and cheek area questions here in the live. And I love being able to help you with, you know, your concern, but I thought it's a good idea to focus on the mouth and cheek area so that you can really understand what you can do to get the result you're looking for. That does it sound good to you? Okay. All right. So let's do this. Okay. So let's begin answering some of the questions I already received. So let's start from our Facebook page questions, okay? So this, um, I don't know if I can pronounce your name correctly. Desanka, Desanka, okay? I hope you're here, Desanka. Her question is, how do I achieve fuller cheeks with face yoga? Very good question. So I talk about the uh, difference between, um, you know, cheeks, cheek types. One is a flat cheek, another one is a bony cheek, or bony face, and a flat meaty face. And I have a bony face. What does it mean? That means when I turn my head, see that? Can you see that? My cheek goes in and right here. And then when I get tired, I start losing my cheek volume right here. And I look tired. So that's the that's cheek I have, bony cheek. It doesn't matter. You know, sometimes I see people who has a fuller, you know, full figure and then skinny face. Or sometimes people have a skinny body but a full of cheeks. So when you want to know what kind of cheek you have, you can turn and see, right? And then when you have a bony cheek or bony face, usually this is a place you start noticing like, oh, going down. And the flat cheek people, this is a place when you, you know, gain weight. This is like, get puffy, okay? So good question. How do I achieve full of cheeks with face yoga? What you have to do is, first, you have to understand your cheek muscles. Many people think that cheek just is the one fat, you know, resting on the bone right here. No, that's not the case. Look at this. Many muscles on the cheek area right here and you see that right right here so i want you to feel it first okay the feeling the muscles first and to see how you can actually feel the movement right put the hands right here on the cheeks so ring finger around your nose okay and then middle finger right here hi Mirky. and right here toward the corner of your eyes and then index finger and thumb along your face line Okay, and then just try to smile. Did you feel that movement? Smile, smile. Can you flare your nostril? Uh, 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 do you feel that? Ah, uh, uh, tiger. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm using these muscles. 
And when I smile this way, I'm using different kind of muscle. Did you feel that? Right? So in order to get that fuller cheek, you want to activate the cheeks the way that you see the muscles started getting more fuller. How to do it? Okay? Curl your lower lip. Lower. Alright? And now when I curl my lower lip, you see that? I see that? See? Hmm. And then with that shape, activate the cheek muscles. You can make a ring with thumb and index finger and harder. You see that? My cheeks are getting fuller. And hold this pause for 10 seconds. Or if you can keep it throughout the day, do it. It makes a huge difference on your cheek. Okay, try that. And sometimes I even put the pencil or something right here when I'm sitting in front of a computer. Okay? And that makes my cheek fuller. And even when I'm tired, it doesn't really make me look tired because I have a nice flat cheeks. So that is a pose for you, this kind of, okay? So next one is Iziam. I hope I pronounce your, your name correctly and hope you're here. My cheeks are saggy, age 37. How can, how can I lift them with face yoga? So first, you need to know. Right? You have to know that you have lots of cheek muscles and then you have to understand which muscle you're using. Many times you start seeing the sagginess. You see the square face, the face started getting square. Oh, why? What's happening? Because you're not using cheek muscles. You're using the chin. Oh, oh, see? When you see the face getting square, you have to change it to ah. Uh, change it to ah. Uh. Change it to R. Uh. How to find it? Put a hand on your face, right? And then see when you smile, if you're using the lower part, you feel this oh. Uh. Activate the cheeks, make a ring with thumb and index and ah. Uh. <sighs> Try this one. When you're not even aware, sitting in front of a computer, cooking, watching something, or uh, activate. And in fact, um, I used to, you know, take my daughter to school by bicycle and then I activate my cheek muscles, like oh, riding a bicycle like this. And so many people say, hi, good morning, good morning, even strangers. They thought I was smiling. No, I was just doing a face exercise. Yeah, but it looks like I was smiling because my cheeks are fuller. So try that, okay? Good, I love the questions. All right, so Praveen, how, how do I get rid of Droopy mouth corners. Very good question. I love these questions because it excite me so much, right? So right here, okay, I'm going to show you some picture right here. See? The lip and the muscle, like ring, mu uh, ring like muscle, all right? Can you move? Can you move? Can you kiss? Ooh, ooh, pretend you're kissing somebody, okay? That is a muscle you have around the, around the mouth, okay? And the cheek muscle right here too. So if your corner of the mouth are getting soggy, can you see that? What you're doing, how you're using the cheek, how you're using the mouth area muscle right here. What you have to do is activate the cheeks, activate the cheeks, okay? You feel that? And now, you can use index fingers, thumbs under your chin and index fingers right here, the corner of your mouth. And don't just lift this up. That's not good. See that? If I do this, I see the line under my eyes. I don't want to do that. Instead, what you can do is activate cheek muscles. Okay? Cheek muscles. And when you activate cheek muscles, the corner of your mouth goes up. And then if you cannot do that, why not use the fingers and teach your mu you know, um, muscle around the mouth? Like, okay, go there, go there, go there. And then stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. And when you do it right, you should see the triangle shape. Peak of your cheeks, one, two, okay? And then chin, so triangle shape. You should see this triangle shape right here and right here, see? Should try that, okay? Keep the corner of your mouth high. It'll change your life. 
simply. Why? Because you're giving off happy energy to the people around you. But also you're sending yourself that message that you're happy. When you change the shape of your mouth, your brain and that, like thinks that you're happy. And if you're not quite sure, just pretend that you're just lifting the corner of your mouth and see how you start feeling, okay? You trick yourself, all right, do that. Okay, so the, the next one and sun deal. How do I remove laugh lines? Okay, laugh lines, right? Nasolabial folds, laugh lines. So I want to show these again. Okay, the cheek muscles here and then the mouth, right? Right here, okay, right here. So many people think that like, oh, these are line wrinkles. But when you think about these muscles on your face, when you lift the cheek muscles, activate, and when you lift, let's say the cheek muscles 45 degree, many poses I say, put the hands at 45 degree, right? Why 45 degree? Look at this angle, right? Toward the temple, right here, right here, right? Right here, right here. You can put a hands right here in a face line and a 45 degree. Don't push too much. That, kill, that can cause wrinkles. You don't want to do that. Just enough to support. Okay? And then curl your low lip or you can even put the uh, effort, like create the triangle shape. Can you do that? And can you hold this pose? Or let's do the uh, mini facelift. What's a mini facelift? It's one of my signature poses. Put the hand on the temple right here. When you put the fingers right here, see the temple? See that when I move 45 degree angle, you see the change. I lift this up, right? Look straight and then for um, shorter 45 degree angle, keep it and then bend your head and you're lifting this. Whoa, feel a nice sensation. You are even releasing attention from the neck and shoulder and toward the tip of your fingers. And then, ah, oh, when you're ready, stick your tongue out toward the floor. <sighs> Breathe out completely and see how much you lift the side. And that will help because you move physically outside the cheeks, but also you move that muscle from inside by sticking your tongue out. And then you lift the face side of the face and that will help you a lot. Okay? So don't hold this pulse. No. Or do this. No. You want to change how you want to use the cheek muscles. That'll help you a lot. All right. Wonderful. Okay. So next one. Christine. Oh, how oh, can I build up muscles to help with the sagging after having to have bottom dentures? Yes, you can. It might be a little difficult, right? Because you, 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 you don't have um, um, actual teeth, but when you put the dentures right here and then feel the muscle, first you have to feel it. You have to understand how your face muscles are activated or how you're using. Many times I've seen that people, when they had some dental work, they almost forget to you know, activate the cheek muscles or lower part of the face and everything just go down. But those are the time you really want to activate and find out how you're using the muscles. So what I suggest you, Christine, is that you can put a hands right here in the face line, lower part, okay? And can you move the cheeks? Can you pull the side, mouth to the side, okay? And can you activate the cheeks up? Can you do this? Put a hand right here. Can you move here, here, and here? Can you move here, here, here? Can you move side, up, and lift up? So try the little tiny exercise so that you start connecting with your own muscle. And then after that, it's easier for you to start practicing the actual poses, okay? So awareness is so important for you to try that, okay? Good. So let's go to the um, questions from Instagram. Okay. So Darcy said, how can I improve um, my upper lip symmetry? My concerns, uh, my corners are even, but one side of my upper is thinner than the other. All right. Beautiful question. So Darcy, so the corners are even, okay, but one side of upper 
is thinner than the other. So first thing is you have to check the photo when you're younger and see if you are born with that you know, thinner lip on side. If so, that might be a little difficult, but many times we create the habits as we go through our age. And then when you see that one side is thinner, okay, the corner is the same, right? And one side is thinner. I'm gonna exaggerate, okay? What do you see? One side is thinner. What do you think you can do? So the thinner side is, okay, Darcy, probably tight, right? Tight. And probably the thinner side, when you see the line right here, probably tight and high. Did that make sense? Okay, I hope you're watching. So what you can do is you want to release attention from the tightness and make it so much even. Make a fist and you can push using the knuckles right next to your nostrils, right here, and a push, breathe in, and a breathe out, and a push. Don't push up, don't push down, push in. And probably the thinner side, your lip, um, the, the thinner side lip, the side you have a thinner lip, probably you have a tightness right here, okay? So release it, release, 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 okay? Next step, you can put a tongue on a thinner side, under the thinner side, release it. And if you're willing to do that, wash your finger and put a finger right here. See, right here, let's say this is thinner, you know, thin, thinner side. And then release it, release that, release that. Okay, and that third step, okay, you can pinch the corner and then release it and then reshape it. Did that make sense? I'm gonna show this one too. So if one side is tight and thin, the side is tense. You wanna release it from outside and then from inside. And put a finger and even tongue. And then the last one is pinch, pinch, pinch. And then make it fuller. Yeah, it can happen, okay? Good. So the next question is Vishinosha. When laughing, I notice that I have a vertical lines all over my face. What exercise can help my vertical lines? Okay, so when you smile, you see vertical lines. Ah, vertical lines. So I don't know, I know how old you are. I mean, we even face yoga method exercises and I have a wrinkle too, I'm 52, so I'm okay with that. But what you can do is, you want to see how you're using the muscles. Are you smiling this? That's more horizontal, right? Smiling this. Are you tensing the chin? I'm going to just exaggerate, okay? Ah, smile. See that lines, lines, lines right here. Can you release and uh, make the triangle shape by releasing the tension from the chin? Okay, I'm gonna show you again. So I, when I see somebody who's smiling like this, not only the face gets square, I can see it because the tightness shows on the chin and then you see more vertical lines. Do that make sense? Okay, or when somebody's smiling, ah, Okay, I'm really tightening my chin. Feel that, tighten the chin, Ah, uh, see? And then it's so much line right here. What can you do? Release the tension from the chin. Can you release it? And activate the cheeks a little differently. Instead of this, okay, can you do that? See that? So change how you're using the muscles and then that will help you a lot. Another thing you can do is apply moisturizer and then also when you apply moisturizer or when you, you know, when you put something, let's say even sunscreen and you can do it every day too, um, profile facelift, lift up the side. I showed you this picture, right? The muscles here on the cheek and then the bucinator and risorius right here. I didn't color it right here, okay? So what you can do, put a hand on the face line so when you put a hand on your face line, here, see that? You are smoothing out, and you want to put a hand on the forehead right here, okay? And then keep your straight line. What does it mean? Center line, the forehead, and the peak of your nose, and then the peak of your lips, and chin straight line. My collarbone right here, and then sternum right here. Keep it straight. Okay, so put a hand on the face line and move slightly, 45 degree angle, just slightly. Why 45? Because look at the angle of these muscles, 45 degree. Don't tilt your head, put another hand on the forehead and then move the 
finger toward the ear, almost like you're using a natural facelift. And then keep the palm on the forehead slightly up. Okay, slightly up this way. And then this one goes 45 degrees. And then keep smiling, activate the cheek muscles. Straight line, don't tilt your head. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then here you go. Can you let your hand go? My eye, this side is bigger. Can I let my hand go from this side? Can I keep that activated muscle the way I want? Oh, what do you think? And then you can do the other side too. Check the angle, okay? Check the angle and then put the finger right here. Don't wrinkle your forehead. Put a hand the way that you're lifting the side. You're lifting the face line. Don't tilt your head, keep it straight. And then chin. Three triangle, right? One, two, three, three points. And then activate cheeks. Release attention from the chin. Let's keep the center line, don't tilt your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, and come out. Oh, can you keep that? Can you keep that throughout the day? Whoa, and release attention from the shoulder and all over the face. All right, try that. It's um, awareness, but also how you use your muscles. It makes a huge difference. Okay, good. So let's go to the next one. Um, Shim, what can we do for sagging cheeks and asymmetric lip corners? So sagging cheeks, sagging cheeks, okay? The cheeks is getting saggier. So there's a couple things you can think about. So the one is, of course, you know, things are going down and probably you're using more lower part. You know, gravity pulls everything down, even at this moment. So when you're not really thinking anything like, oh, I'm so relaxed, everything goes down. So you want to activate, right? Another thing is as we age, even our bone structure changes. And then the maximal, that yellow part, they started going down. So what you can do, we are going to activate the cheekbone, okay? And see how that helps. Put a thumbs, the side of index, um, a thumb right here on the cheekbone, okay? Don't push up. I don't want you to push up the cheeks. I want to really feel the um, bone, the cheekbone, okay? See that? Okay. And then the um, you feel the shape of your cheekbone. Don't push up. That can cause under eye wrinkle. You want to keep that right here, right here, okay? It's almost like a going down side and then push up. Right? And now, if you can, rest your elbows on the table or desk. And if you're not, just chest open, heart open, keep face lying straight. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Very small effort. Lift up the cheekbones. Shoulder relax. Don't lift or don't compress your neck. And drop your jaw slightly and hold this for 10 seconds. And keep breathe in and out. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come out. How do you feel? We activated the cheekbones and then you can do the cheek up exercises and you lift up the cheekbones and you now lift up the cheek muscles after that, okay? Try that. And then uh, asymmetric lip corners. So when the one side is down, there's a two things you can think about. The muscles are going down, right? Or that side, the cheekbone is lower. Some people feel that one side cheekbone is so much lower. Why? It could be, you know, the way you're born with. But many times, it could be the side is sleeping. When you sleep on your side, uh, you're pushing this. Heavy head is just resting. I don't know how many hours you sleep. And pushing down the bone, not just the muscle. So you want to adjust that. Do that make sense? So that side, probably the cheek is lower and the corner is lower too. So you can do that. And then, and then, that's the last part. Lift up the corner of your mouth. Okay? Right, you can use the fingers until you are very aware how you have to keep the corner of your mouth the way you want. You have to keep checking your posture and then checking the corner of your mouth if it's the same level. All right, so here, okay. And Sandra, 
What can we do to minimize the lines around the mouth right here? So Sandra, I'm not quite sure if you're talking about the vertical lines or horizontal lines. If it's the horizontal lines, it's probably the tension, right? If I see somebody who has a tension right here between the nose and upper lip, usually that's a line is caused by the tightness of the upper lip. And they usually I can see the person has more deep nasal labia right, right here. See, see the tightness, right? So what you can do, release attention from outside, doing a push, can okay, make a fist and a push, push, push and release attention. And then second, release attention from inside. You can put the fingers and release it. Okay, that makes a huge difference too. If it's a lower, same approach. You can release from outside, make a fist and acupressure push. And if you have this square face of lines like right here, vertical line, probably you have lots of pain or tightness right here too when you push. Right here, it's pretty tight, okay? So what you can do, activate cheek, okay? And release. And then second one, use a tongue, release that from inside. Fingers, release that. And then see how that can minimize the vertical lines. I'm, I'm sorry, the horizontal lines. And then vertical lines is right here. Sorry about that, I just mixed up. Okay, you can push and see if there's any tightness is pulling like that. And then if you see vertical lines on your lips, that means you need to drink more water. It, these um, lines are indicator of your body needs more water. So drink more water. I can tell huge difference if I have enough water, um, you know, throughout the day, next morning I see fuller lips, much, much more relaxed mouth area versus if I didn't have enough water the night before, I see vertical lines on my lips and tightness, my lips are thinner. So that's how I know I need to drink more water, okay? All right, so the last one, Marilu. Are there any face yoga poses that improve cheekbones? So I showed you the one, right? The one you lift the cheekbones, okay? And then that one I just showed you a little earlier, that can be really good. And another one is you can use a palms and then put the cheekbones right here, okay? So the uh, cheekbones right here with your palm, right here, okay, feel that, cheekbone. Make sure you don't push up, that is really not a good idea. See the lines I'm creating? So make sure you are just touching the bones and you're not pushing up the cheeks or skin itself, right? And the rest your elbow, if you can, on the table or desk. Or if not, use a very mild upward movement. Breathe in and out and move your cheekbones up. And then drop your jaw when you do that. Don't hold your tightness. Ugh, no, you want to really open your mouth, like just enough to release attention from the ah. Uh, and come out. And after that, you can do the cheek exercises and lift up the cheeks. Okay, so these are the poses. So what we did, I'm going to just give you the, um, you know, what do you call that, the uh, points, what we did today. So first one, you need to be aware how you're using the mouth and the cheek muscles, okay? And awareness, right? And second, you need to release the tension. If you have any tension, like, oh, it's so tight, you have to release it. I showed you release from outside, inside using your fingers. And then you want to build and activate, activate the muscles. You want to really create that fullness or the way you want to see, you know, the corner of the mouth and all that. So these are the steps you want to take and I teach in the face yoga method of poses, what can you do to really get the result you want. So I hope you get something out of this live and then I really wanna thank you again for joining me today live, it's so much fun. And then just explore your muscles, the facial muscles, because we have so many muscles on our face and we don't even understand how we are using our face muscles until you touch 
or until you take a picture when you're talking in a video and you'll be surprised how you use your muscles without you paying attention to. And that's contribute to the wrinkles or any tension you're carrying. And then, yeah, it'd be surprising and it's gonna be fun for you too. That can be your homework. All right, so that's all your questions answered, the one I received, and I hope you were able to learn a lot today and apply it to your actual face and muscles, okay? And if you want to begin transformation your smile today, I've left you a link for our mouth and cheek freebie in the description of this live. So there are freebie information, the mouth and cheek area so grab it and uh, try to study your face and uh, practice those poses and enjoy and let me know how you go with the exercises and thank you so much again for joining me today and have a great weekend and enjoy all right i'll see you very soon bye